Hi class, right now we're going to be going over lesson 6.1, Populations and Samples. For starters, we've got some definitions here. So the definition of a population is the total grouping of objects or people that you will take your sample from. And a sample is a subset of a population or a small part of a population that you can survey. So the population would be like the whole group and the sample is a little smaller part of that that we use to represent what we think the whole group will think. So for example, if we think about the population as this big group right here, so the whole population, then this little subject over here, this small grouping right here would be our sample. So we would think of the whole grouping as the population, and this small little piece on the side would be our sample, because those are the people we are going to survey to get the idea of what the whole population thinks. So we got some more definitions here. So representative sample, a representative sample accurately reflects the characteristics of the entire population. A random sample, in a random sample, each member of the population has an equal chance of being included. A random sample is often a representative sample. So to take a representative sample, you have to meet all the characteristics that the population would have. Every um, small little detail in it you have to meet. The best way to do that is to just take a random sample, to just pick people out of random out of a population. So say you were at like a football game, you could just grab 10 people from the crowd without even thinking about them and sample them. So let's go over some questions here. We want to identify the population and the sample in each group. So a journalism teacher wants to determine whether his students would prefer to attend a national writing convention or a tour of a local newspaper press. The journalism teacher has a total of 120 different students in four classes. And what would be a representative sample of this situation? All right, so let's start off. We got 120 students, right? We have 120 students across four different classes. Remember, what's a representative sample? A representative sample is a sample that represents the entire grouping of people. So we want to think about the entire grouping of people here. we got to be pulling from each of these four classes. So a representative sample would be a certain amount of people per class. So let's think about it. If we surveyed t like 20 students in the first one period, the first class, then we would only get an idea of what those, that first class wants. But if we surveyed five people over all four classes, then we would have a good representative sample of the entire uh, grouping of people in the class. So we could say five people per class. So it'd be 20 people total, which is a good number, and you would get a good idea of the entire class. So of the 652 passengers on a cruise ship, 30 attended the magic show on board. So for starters, what is the sample here? Well, let's remember, a sample is a small part of a population. The population would be the whole number, and the sample is much smaller. So the sample here would be the 30 people at the magic show. The population would be the 652 people on a cruise ship. See how we remember that. Well, 30 people is smaller than 652 people, just like our sample always has to be smaller than our population. And finally, a national appliance store chain is reviewing the performances of its 400 sales associate trainees. How can the store choose a representative sample of the trainees? Well, the best way to choose a, a, random, sorry, a representative sample here would be to look at who we are surveying. So we would want to get um, all levels of trainees, right? Because we, it says it's a representative sample, so we need to get um, the amount of people that would cover all uh, different aspects of this survey. And then how could we choose a, a representative sample? Well, since um, they didn't give us any characteristics to base our representative sample over here, let's remember that a random sample is normally a representative sample. So here I would say take a random sample 
of the 400. And that's how we would get a representative sample. So we could take, for example, survey 20 out of 400 trainees. And that would give us a good representative sample of these trainees. All right, guys, that's it for the slides. This is really just a good, de uh, good day to go over definitions here. So four definitions were a population, which is the whole grouping of people, a sample, which is a small grouping of that large population, a representative sample, which is a, which is a sample that we use to represent the entire population, and then a random sample, which is just a random out, uh, grouping of people chose out of a population, a random sample out of the population. But let's remember, a random sample is often a representative sample. All right, guys, see you.